world of myth on the brink of cataclysm. A sun captured by a formidable foe. A god seeking to save their child's life. And a Viking legend who must confront these visions and face their destiny. Dawn of Ragnarok is the most ambitious expansion of any Assassin's Creed title. In it, you embody the Norse god Odin in a mythical saga that's rich with narrative depths and game-changing mechanics. Odin has come to this realm with a single purpose, to save the life of their son, Baldur. Svartalfheim has been invaded by rival powers, led by Sorter, the unkillable giant. And with the threat of Ragnarok growing, Odin must face an even more powerful force. Fate itself. The story begins in Ravensthorpe, as Eivor consults their clan seer. I had another dream. This one full of fire. Valka urges Eivor to step into Odin's saga and uncover where it leads. We shall see what your dream has to teach you. Svartalfheim is the Dwarven realm, the forge of Norse mythology. This is a world of surreal landscapes and titanic forces. As you step into Odin's journey and begin to explore the world, you can select Odin's gender at any time during the adventure. Across Svartalfheim, Odin must contend with two groups, the Jotnar and the Muspels, invaders of frost and flame. Early in their journey, Odin will be gifted the Hugarip, a mythical bracer that will prove invaluable in the fight against these foes. From the dwarves of Svartalfheim to you. This is a mighty gift indeed. This artifact is more than a weapon, allowing Odin to take possession of enemy powers, unlocking new facets of Assassin's Creed Valhalla's combat, social stealth, and world navigation. Active powers, like the power of Muspelheim and Winter, give you protection from fire and mastery of ice, while the powers of Jotunheim and Rebirth allow you to teleport and resurrect foes to fight alongside you. These new mechanics multiply player choice, offering greater freedom of playstyle and creative ways to tackle the challenges to come. Beyond these powers, Svartalfheim is a treasure trove waiting to be uncovered, and explorers will find mythical armor sets and weapons, which can be upgraded by dwarven blacksmiths throughout the world. That's a fine thing indeed, but not so fine that it couldn't stand a little improvement. However, Odin is just part of the saga, and their gear, abilities, and progression will transfer to Eivor as well, bolstering Assassin's Creed Valhalla's mainline game experience. You all right? You all right? I'm here now, and I'm in need of your aid. Dawn of Ragnarok is designed for long-time Assassin's Creed Valhalla players and newcomers alike and once purchased, is accessible at any time during Valhalla's game experience. This is a world built to immerse, surrounding players in the rich tapestry of Norse mythology and teeming with things to do and explore. Across the realm, Odin will uncover shelters where Dwarvenkind have gone into hiding from the threats of war. These shelters are the starting point of Odin's quest to rescue Baldur and act as hubs for player progression, where Odin will attempt to make allies, forge gear, and upgrade the Hugo Rip with perks before departing on adventures throughout the game world. Behind every wonder lies a challenge. Players will fight fearsome boss battles and compete in all new Valkyrie trials, which have Odin facing off against enemy surges to grant them a glorious end worthy of Valhalla. Further beneath its surface, Dawn of Ragnarok uncovers revelations on the Isu and how their own story is woven into the fates of both Odin and humankind. Elven runes are not something I can decipher with ease. 
We are simple diggers, not experts of things writ long ago. Odin may be a god amongst gods, but they will reveal intimate new facets to their character as they ally with Svartalfheim's people and form a resistance against these titanic forces. You will know fear, just like your son. For Balder, I would drain all nine realms. In the domain of gods, Dawn of Ragnarok is a tale of human themes, as both Eivor and Odin contend with destiny itself. It is a fate cast across the divide of realms, a journey between truth and myth, a saga which must be seen to its end, wherever that may lead.